So it looked like it was it was designed to hold to, to be able to handle heavy a lot of heavy material, a lot of provisions, provisioning. Oh, as provisioning ship. Okay. Um, as well as the fuel line. Um, Interesting, because that would not seem to be uh, intuitively a great location to do provisioning from, right? I mean, uh, yeah, close to well, warehouses. And, and not only that, but it's, it's on YBI, which by this time, if that pier was built during Second World War, it, it's on YBI, which is not used much anymore, except for housing and socializing for the officers. You've got all of those piers on TI, and you've got the Fifth Street Pier, which was a major source for fueling. Mm -hmm. So what was going on? I mean, back up pier, in case Treasure Island sank. <laughs> <laughs> um, so that, uh, that's basically what I also said here. It, it struck me as odd because Treasure Island was really the place where provisioning was done. It, it was mentioned several times when it, we first learned that major ship repair during World War II was done at this base, that it was done at Treasure Island, not over on Yerba Buena Island. So um, the location of the AST was approximate. We couldn't really tell. I, I couldn't really tell where it was, but looking at the map, we found the foundation of the building, and I, and we I conjecture that the the building I saw no foundation on this top, so maybe it's covered with soil at this point because there is a sandy cliff above, or it never had a foundation and the the tank just sat on the ground. But I don't know. Um, okay. Looking around, I I wanted to bring my handy dandy auger, but. Miriam voted against it, so um, I didn't have a real one, so she was a little um, questioning of whether or not this was a, going to be a feasible thing to do. So, but in poking around, I did not see any evidence of seepage, so petroleum is not on the immediate surface that we could determine. Um, there was no sheen on the on the water. There was um, there was there was no when we got to, as far down to the water line as we could. I couldn't see any evidence of any petroleum. There are four aluminum stakes out there for some reason. They're they're marking something, but it's not clear what they're marking. Um, Mukesh, did you do you remember any aluminum stakes that might have been put out there recently? No. Yeah, I think those were uh, to mark proposed uh, lo uh, sampling locations. Kind of judging some depth because they were marked at a low tide. Okay. Just to give you some idea. Um, okay, so the shore was, we thoroughly investigated the shore and we noted a number of marine species, including a crab, barnacles, and limpets. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we did see an oyster, but I think that was probably brought by a seagull and dropped to see <laughs> if he could get it open. They like doing that. There were a lot of mussels. A lot of mussels. And a lot of mussels. But, but, but they're on the on the rock. They're on that Franciscan formation. Yeah, well, they don't swim around. Mussels don't do that. Right. They're attached to something. Um, but in the vicinity of, of the pier from AST 214, there were no animals observed. Um, there were th we found three species of seaweed, um, seaweed, kelp, no, kelp, sea lettuce, and something I couldn't identify. Um, and there were a large number of non-native plants, including Bromus diandris, Rubus armeniacus, I just changed it, I can't pronounce it yet, an apple, thoroughwort, English ivy, eucalyptus, and an aster. We I identified six native plants. Sagittaria, cuneate, cun Bromus carinatus, Rubus ursinus, Salicornia biglovii, and Heteromeles arbutifolia. And there Dale, were I just have to note, thank you, I, but I have to note this is becoming a nightmare for Christine. <laughs> <laughs> but 
but well, we she'll can just send me an email and okay. I'll send it all to all right. her. Yeah, we can email the names, of course. The Latin names. Yeah. <laughs> and there were a large number, large populations of sea fleet, uh, sand fleets. And because we couldn't get down into the place where the dumping had not occurred, we did not get down into real clean sand. And I suspect there is even more sand fleas there. And sand fleas are a favorite snack of avocets who poke their beaks into the sand. And so that's a species I'm concerned about in terms of getting exposed to some unpleasant chemicals. Okay. And that's it. Thank you. Um, about how long were you down there? Did, did you uh, didn't hear? We didn't even take pictures. We were so disorganized. Well, no, we were just we were just busy looking at everything. Maybe. Probably um, forty-five minutes. How long? Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that would be a good guess. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, um, and then another thing I would add to this. So there, you noted these these wooden. Um, oh right, I forgot about those. Um, what you call them? You know that that are holding supposedly holding a pipe. The support structure for the right, piping. The support structure for the piping, mm -hmm. and it's not located where the former pipes are located on the maps. Mm -hmm. um, there, when we look at the different maps, there are different locations for those pipes, but not this one, which is really at the interface between the cliff and the beginning of the beach, and so that's where they are. And there's there's two of them. One is on. Um, there's there's two lines. There's one line made out of wood with saddles for carrying a pipe, and then there's one made out of concrete. And they head west towards those two ASTs that are up on the western outcrop. Yeah, and then the, I guess the path for people who have not been down there, and I don't encourage anyone to go down there unless they're sure of their feet and ankles and balance and all of that. But there's the two, and you can't just go out there. And, but the two paths, the, the, the paths that are going down there are used by, by various species, including humans, that make the trails. And um, there is that one, sometimes you can see some of those um, fuel pipes in the path. You can see them, yeah, like you can see a little piece. So it's not everything's mapped, and you know they're they're about this. They're, they're about but they're about two inches, and they I two inch lines. Yeah, they uh, two inches. Oh, that's not the ones I saw. The the F F O three that I saw was about a two inch line. Okay, so there's more lines than we think. Okay. So All there's, right. there's two lines. Well, thank you very much. I'm sorry, Alice, if you have the floor. I was going to say thank you very much, Dylan. I appreciate you not only going down there, but reporting back to your RAP members. No, I think.